Then they have accomplished faculty. Our profession, oh. <laughs> our professors will inspire you to do your best. Each one has an advanced degree and significant experience in the field he or she teaches. Like, how amazing is that? So, um, this says, make sure you bring your uh, opinions to class. However, don't be surprised if they change. A fact, um, our accounting program is one of 20 university programs in the country to earn the prestige um, institution of management accountants higher education endorsement fun fact um, then it talks about the life so if I were to go to Dixie State or live near there and just said hey I want to take a class in extracurricular activities well I'd have 40 plus annual culture, cultural and diversity events I have 14 athletic teams, which I wouldn't mind watching a baseball game or football game, but I'm not playing sports. Nope, nope, nope. There's 50 plus intramural sports and events, 70 plus clubs and organizations. Like, there's so much to do. It's insane. So student life here is unlike any other. Amazing weather allows you to um, indulge in endless outdoor recreation, abundant campus activities and intramural sports all year long with 85% of students living within 5 to 10 minutes of campus. The social life is engaging and exciting. Rarely will a night go by without a dance, concert, or some other form of entertainment sponsored by a club or student organizations. Acts like Macklemore have stopped by Dixie, leaving students a life Oh, the life-changing experience they won't soon forget. So that's kind of what I love. Like, if I were to spend a good chunk of my time in St. George, Utah, like, I could take a class, but then I could also join, like, a club and, like, make friends. And that fact that, like, down in the university, there's always something going on. Like, if I didn't, if I was like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Like, I could actually go hang out and, like, do stuff with my peers. You're supposed to, like chilling with my mom at home which I do excuse me which I do a lot of and I don't mind it to to like some degree but there is a part of me that just wants some friends to hang out with and like do stuff with them you know um so here this is what this page is these, these two pages look like and it says, um, I had the chance to go to a bigger university, but I came here to stand out. I found out there are more ways to study than just sitting in a library reading. Ten minutes to the lake, the perfect getaway after class. I got to see the field as a freshman. That doesn't happen everywhere you go. So I'm guessing someone was into sports. By the second day of class, my professor called me by my name. I was shocked. These are all quotes from students. I killed it in the intramural tennis competition. Um, and then here, Dixie State Athletics. So if you are at all interested, um, this just tells you the programs, the head coaches, and the contact info. Then open admissions. So this says open admissions, um, which I found a little interesting. So if you were a freshman student, you would apply to dixie.edu slash apply. There's a $35 application fee when you apply or if you're gonna going to pay, I don't know. But then basically you submit your high school transcripts, submit your ACT, S a T or this is something new that I've never heard of before a CPT scores so but that would not be me but I just thought I'd share that I'd be a transfer student so again I would if I were to apply attend same ed dixie.edu slash apply same have to pay the $35 fee um but it says submit all college transcripts um, 
And if you have less than 24 credits earned, you'll also have to submit your high school transcripts and then the ACT, SAT, and CPT scores. All college transcripts need to be official, which I already kind of have my high school and college stuff in a folder somewhere because a while back, every four years, I think I'm going to be attending something. <laughs> and it's like, mm, something better is going to come along. And I think I might have found it. Call me crazy right now. But then just like admissions deadlines for the fall, spring semester, um, and some phone numbers here. And then here is the campus directory. So again, gives you like admissions, alumni, athletic, bookstore, so on and so forth, housing, and then like the num phone numbers. And then it goes on to the parent side here, which I don't know if it tells us anything different. Um, I don't know, it's pretty much probably similar, just slightly different, um, but yeah, I like this, it's personalized learning, um, an education from Dixie is built upon people opportunities to be involved in interactive learning. Our facility and staff work hard to provide the personalized attention and service your student needs to succeed now and in the future. So they offer a number of resources to help your students, which I love that. Um, but then they also were kind enough to print me off the degrees, the minor, and certificate worksheet because I'm really interested in the certificate program and then maybe work my way up to an associates. So I could be like, I'm certified and I'm associated. Um, but basically again, like what I mentioned earlier, um, but what's mentioned here that's not mentioned there is dance, not that I would take it or anything, but they have early uh, elementary education. That's what I'm trying to say. Ugh. Um, Integrative studies. There's, what is this? Marketing emphasis. So there's like marketing, a psychology thingy um, that has me intrigued. But I think earth science would be so awesome to study out there. Because think about, I mean, Zion National Park is like in your backyard, Snow Canyon. Like, there's at least five national and, like, state parks. There's, like, a lot going on in that area. It's, it's, it's. So now we're getting into, well, there's psychology and then social sciences. Um, associate's degree, my picks for associates. Again, there's two different early childhood educations, which I would like to know the difference between the two. And then general marketing, I'm really interested in marketing. Um, I, I don't, it's probably a lot of work to become a physical therapist assistant. I think because I just been spending so much time in, in PT, like, I just would love to work there. <laughs> um, which, who says I can't get a job? You know, doing what I see people do there that I think I'm qualified to do. Anyway, then your minors, um, I don't know if too many of these here intrigue me. Um, I don't know if I'd really, I mean, yeah, in a perfect world, I'd probably do a major and a minor, but it's a lot of work. I'd probably do, there's like health psychology, which I wonder what that is. Probably what is it? Probably is exactly what it says it is, but who knows? Um, so if I were to do like, I'd always wanted to combine like social work and education, or psychology and education, or psychology and social work. Like those are my top three. But now I'm adding in marketing, and I'm just like, really want to learn how to brand myself really well. So um, what got me so excited? is their certificate programs and one of them is e-marketing like that is what i'm 
trying to do right now is like do the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of this. I recently just downloaded Periscope. I want to learn how to do that because I want a Periscope at the gala and any other important thing in my life. Um, so I should play around with that. <laughs> There's general marketing, which, hey, why not? And they have other things that scare me because uh, it's like medical stuff. Oh, media production. Like, what if you did, like, an associate's degree in marketing and you had a certificate in media production? And what is YouTube, folks? It's a little show I put on for you. So that is what all this is. And then here is the um, Disabilities Resource Center. So the, somewhere... Ah, it's some phone numbers and email. Is there an email? Yes. So I can contact and be like, how can you help me? Or find out whom, with whom I should be speaking to when I go take a tour there. But really quickly, because this video is getting lengthy, um, it says, welcome to the Disabilities Resource Center. The designated departments on the campus of Dixie State University responsible for elevating uh, evaluating, sorry, evaluating disability documentation, determine eligibility, and implement responsible accommodations for students who have difficulties that may affect their academic success. You're looking at it. Um, on the website, you'll find information about accommodations and services for the students. And then they have a mission. Um, the mission of the Disabilities Resource Center is to provide an opportunity for students with disabilities to have access to quality education, support, and learning resources to fully participate in DSU programs and services. Um, increase academic success of students with disabilities by providing responsible accommodations and according to federal and state guidelines, support individuals with disabilities as productive, independent, and responsible members of the university community, provide a variety of learning resources and advocacy to increase retention and graduation of students with disabilities. And that really struck out, like stood out, was that they wanted to make sure that you graduate and that you're not struggling. And then just two other things that are just pretty much summing it all up here. So that, my dear friends and folks, that is Dixie State University in a nutshell. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have more to say about it after I take an official tour. And if you want to know more, Dixie, D-I-X-I-E dot com slash, not dot com, dot E-D-U. Hello, Mallory. Also, if you go to YouTube and type in Dixie State University, there's two music videos that are, um, like, parodies. And the one that I love is they take, um, a One Direction song. So it's like, you know, the music and the beat and everything, but they change the lyrics to match Dixie. And I listen to it all the time. I watch it all the time. It's stuck in my head as we speak because I'm just like, yeah. I'm like, never really felt passionate about a school before. Like, I do this. <laughs> 12 years of school. And then something. And I never was like, oh, so-and-so. No, I, but now I'm like, yes, I want to be part.